G'day and welcome back to Robotized. Today we're having a look at the Roby OnePlus 18 volt jump starter. This can jump start cars up to 6 litre V8s. Just so happens I have a 6 litre V8 here, so I will be testing it out today. Let's see how it goes. So this kit is sold in the US with a 2 amp hour battery and a charger, but getting it over here, my buddy Ryan helped me get it over, but to avoid any unnecessary hold up with customs, we removed the battery and charger out of it just to get over here a bit easier. The 2 amp hour battery, it does say you get up to 20 jump starts per charge, so I will be using a 2 amp hour battery today and we will be testing that out. Alright, we open the box up, we'll grab the jump starter itself, so we've got our operator's manual there some protective cardboard and the jump starter itself so you got your two alligator clamps your positive and negative so your buttons on the front you've got the power on you've got the priming and you've got a light as well which is up the front here it comes with a little troubleshooting tag attached so if you get some lights flashing on the front you can just match it up on here and see what the issue is and try it again all right, there's no time like the present. Let's not waste any time. Let's get out there and try it on a flat battery. All right, I've got a flat battery in there at the moment. So when I turn the key, absolutely nothing happens. So this isn't just a low battery I've got in, it's absolutely dead. So it'll be a good test for the jump starter and see if we can start a six liter V8 with a dead battery. All right, so we've got our two amp hour battery here. I'm gonna chuck this in here. Alright, now it says to hook the, you know, positive to positive and negative to negative of the battery. So, under here it's a little bit different. I don't have the battery under here, it's actually behind the passenger seat. So, we'll take this off. And the jump start point that goes straight to the battery is up here. And the negative actually just attaches to the chassis. So, it, it does say when you power this on, holding it down to power on, with just a, a battery that's a bit low, you just, you press the, the priming button once and it'll beep a few times and actually prime up. And when it's done priming up, you'll be right to start the engine. This should turn green when it's ready to go. It does say it takes up to 60 seconds for a low battery, but if it's dead, it says to actually hold this down and it'll force it. Okay, try. We'll try starting the car. There you go. So it starts a six liter V8 from an absolute dead battery. Not just low, flat as it only had two volts in the battery and it started it up. So we'll do it one more time. We'll hold this down. We'll go through the whole process one more time. Let's hold that down, powers it on. Holding this down which apparently isn't doing anything right now. Hold it down for a really dead battery. It'll prime itself back up, charge those capacitors. All right, and it's ready to start engine. All right, start again. Done. How awesome is that? So we'll just we'll try starting it again without priming this up and see what it does. So try start it again. Nothing. So it's absolutely dead. So this was relying on it. When you're done with it and you've powered it off, take off your alligator clamps, clamp them back onto here. Nice little spot for them, and you're ready to go for next time. So that was a couple of jump starts with the two amp hour battery. And we'll just have a quick look. It should still be on full. All right, three bars. So that was full, so it's gone down one bar. 
So it was, yeah, not bad for a two amp hour battery though. Awesome bit of kit. So just on an end note, I am really happy with how this runs, especially for a six liter V8. Now the engine actually was turning off by itself when it was relying on that dead battery. So this will only charge it um, for a few seconds before it cuts out and then switches back over to your 12 volt battery. But because that was dead, the car was switching off. But generally you're just charging a, a low battery ready to start again. So when you start the car, it'll switch back to the battery and should keep charging the battery again. But yeah, awesome bit of kit. The light's really handy for dark spaces and it lights up a little bit as well. And we'll see you in the next one. Cheers.